Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and I hear a lot of people who don't read mainstream comics but want to say that they don't because they don't know where to start or they don't know how. And if you are one of those people, well, look, I could sit here and say, well, you can start wherever you want, or you have to start from the beginning. But I feel like the first response is very dismissive, and the second response is something that only an asshole would give you. Seriously, if anyone tells you to start from the beginning, they're either trolling you or they're a genuine asshole. I mean, you can if you want to, but I mean, good luck, Godspeed, and may the force be with you because that is some bullshit. Uh, okay, so before I tell you how and where to start, you have to understand the one major thing about the medium of comics, and that is that comics, for the most part, utilize what's known as long-form storytelling, which basically means that they're telling a never-ending story. That's why I said earlier, if you want to start from the beginning, more power to you, but I really wouldn't recommend it, especially to new readers. So if you're looking to get into comics, here's what you should do. First off, you should find a character that you like. Uh, for example, say that you just watched The Avengers and you really liked Iron Man and you really want to read more about him in the comics. Well, what you should do is you should go to your local comic book store and look for the latest Iron Man comic. Uh, this won't be too difficult because most stores organize their comics in alphabetical and numerical order. Uh, once you find the latest issue, ask the person working at the store how many issues has this current story arc had. Because really, if you're going to start reading, it's best to start at the beginning of the latest story arc. However, if you live nowhere near a store, you can always go to Comixology, which is a digital format. They're usually up to date on all their comics, and they'll almost always have information on the issues that you're about to buy, so you can check it that way. And from there, you just read. Uh, now, of course, there will be references made to past events, characters, stories, and concepts that you most likely won't be too familiar with, but that's what the internet's for. That and porn, but, you know, mostly porn. Uh, but it can be used to help you look up the history of certain concepts and characters in comics as well. It could also be used to help you cheat on tests, but I don't recommend that because cheating is wrong and bad and you should totally never do it because I never did. Uh, but yeah guys, uh, that's the best way that I can explain getting into comics. Was I any help? Did I just make things worse? Are you still confuzzled? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, share and support the channel, and if you want to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. I am the Mystical Green Beanie, thank you for watching, and as always, until next time, adios nachos.